Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GMG Chess Series 1E4 according to Anand. Today, let's tackle how to beat a modern defense third move c5. We know that modern defense is a hyper modern chess opening in which black allows white to occupy the center with pawns on d4 and e4 as you can see in the board. Then proceed to attack and undermine this idea center without attempting to occupy it themselves. The opening has been most notably used by British Grandmaster Nigel Davis and Colin McNabb. Without further ado, let's go now to the chess opening. After Bishop G7, Knight C3, C5, this idea is too risky. White should accept the phone sacrifice. Black will have to make considerable concession in the process of regaining it. Then D takes C5 is the simplest. As said by former world champion, Wilhelm Stinitz, if your opponent offer a gambit, if you cannot calculate well, then the best move is to accept it. There are many response by black. Knight a6, knight c6, bishop takes c3, and queen a5. Now let's go one by one. First, let's go to knight a6. The idea is to capture the pawn with tempo. And black try to attempt white to capture the knight at a6. Then the pawn structure of black will become double. But black will use his two bishops in compensate for the lost pawn structure. And the simplest and recommended by former world champion Anand is bishop e3, which is the strongest. Developing at the same time protecting the pawn at c5. And black needs more time to regain the pawn sacrifice. Then Queen a5, again threatening knight takes c5 or bishop takes c3 that is already controlled by queen. Then bishop d4. A good move because this bishop is very strong in modern defense just like in Sicilian dragon. In this opening, the value of bishop is more than 3 points. e5, bishop e3, then white lost tempi because black moves e5 but the d5 square now become weak. That is very useful for white knight. Knight f6, developing a piece and try to capture the pawn at e4. Capturing immediately the c5, then white can move the queen to d5. f3, knight takes c5, queen d6, attacking both the knight at c5 and pawn at e5. Knight e6, now the pawn become protected by black queen. Bishop c4, bishop f8 because this queen preventing black to castle. Queen d2, bishop e7, knight d5, good move. Queen takes d2, force. King takes d2, knight takes d5, 
bishop takes d5, knight f4, bishop takes f4, e takes f4, knight e2, bishop d6, then g3. Slightly advantage. Black has numerous weaknesses. White bishop in d5 is so strong. After black captured the pawn at g3, h takes g3, and the h pile will be useful for white. Next, let's go now to for knight c6. Black simply develop and ignoring the regaining of pawn at c5. Bishop e3 again. This move is very useful in this opening. Bishop takes c3. That is the idea of knight c6. B takes c3. And white pawn structure is not so good. But these pawns are very useful in the opening. But in the end game. These are bad pawn structures. Queen a5. Queen d2 protecting the pawn at c3. Knight f6. Again, very useful in this opening, f3. We know that f3 is very useful if black play Pianchetto at king side. Almost the same with Sicilian Dragon. Castle. Knight e2. d6. Black exchange pawn at c5. Because of development of his black light square bishop. C takes d6. Rook d8. Knight d4. Rook takes d6. Bishop d3 simply develop knight e5 castle rook d8 then rook a b1 place your rook in the offense file very useful for white white preserve one extra pawn and favorable position because of bishop fair and weak dark square for black. The third one is the port move bishop takes c3. This one is the most interesting line with good prospect in this opening. Black exchanged the excellent dark square bishop in exchange for white knight at c3, creating triple pawns for white. And black has a good chances if he managed the threat of white in the dark squares because giving up the bishop then black dark squares become weak b takes c3 knight f6 the main move if black tries to move queen a5 then queen d4 protecting both at the same time attacking the rook at h8 the knight f6 queen b4 very important because protecting the pawn with f3 or other moves black moves knight c6 and the queen cannot go to b4 queen takes b4 c takes b4 knight takes e4 now the pawns are equal but white has two bishops and the uh, triple pawn become connected again and white has a slight advantage and easy to play than with black after knight f6 bishop h6 good move because the idea if black capture queen d4 then if go back then bishop 
g7 queen a5 queen f3 good move because if queen d4 knight c6 and white queen cannot protect both e4 and c3 pawn well knight takes e4 bishop c4 good move e6 if black capture the pawn at c3 by queen queen takes c3 knight takes c3 then bishop g7 if knight takes c3 then bishop d2 knight e2 development is important knight takes c5 castle d5 knight d4 excellent move actually this position is winning for white in the engine and white has many good options but knight d4 is more convincing d takes c4 queen f6 then rook g8 bishop g5 white has devastating threat the possible continuation is queen c7 protecting the e7 pawn then knight b5 then if queen d7 rook a d1 very devastating and black is losing and white is totally winning and the last one is the most combative in this variation that is the main move queen a5 then bishop d2 this one is the simplest and also the best there's idea behind bishop d2 queen takes c5 knight d5 a good move the idea is to trap the black queen by bishop b5 if queen c6 bishop b5 as you can see later there are three responses for black the first one is king f8 this is an interesting resource for black he prevents the possible for at knight c7 losing his right to castle but black can simply manage to castle in that opening line anyway but still the idea deserve attention bishop b4 good move queen c6 knight f3 d6 knight d4 queen d7 bishop b5 developing at the same time attacking the queen at d7 knight c6 castle knight f6 knight takes e7 excellent move after king takes e7 e5 very deep knight d5 bishop takes d6 king e8 queen f3 again a good move penetrating along the a8 to h1 diagonal and a6 because simply moving the knight white can capture that knight by dark bishop and knight takes c6 queen takes d5 a takes b5 knight takes b5 rook a5 a4 this one is a precaution protecting the knight at b5 knight takes e5 rook a e1 
f6 and f4 white is winning white can regain the knight and black has bad light bishop and the two rooks are very strong and the next alternative for the sixth move aside from king f8 that is b6 the idea is to give square for the black queen bishop b4 again the idea is to attack or trap the black queen queen c6 bishop b5 queen b7 queen f3 again very useful in this opening bishop takes b2 bishop c3 interesting white can simply attack the bishop and save the rook by rook b1 bishop takes c3 because capturing the rook simply leaves black a risky position for the black king and the white dark bishop is a strong attacker in that position that's why the greedy bishop takes a1 is more risky queen takes c3 f6 then e5 white try to destroy the pawn in front of black king if queen takes d5 queen takes c8 king f7 then bishop c4 pin knight a6 castle very useful and the rook protect the knight at d5 king f7 he takes f6 he takes f6 knight takes f6 this is a deep combination knight takes f6 rook d6 knight e8 because black cannot protect the knight at f6 the best move is to escape knight e8 and knight f3 excellent move because knight g5 has devastating effect knight takes d6 queen takes h8 knight c5 knight g5 check king e7 knight takes h7 excellent move the idea is queen f6 king e8 queen f8 checkmate and the rook will join the attack by rook e1 all white pieces are very active knight e8 rook e1 check knight e6 knight f8 a good move the plan is knight takes e6 if d takes c6 queen takes e8 the materials are even but the black king is very exposed queen takes g2 knight takes e6 queen takes f2 rook e4 queen g1 king b2 d takes e6 queen takes e8 and white is totally winning and the last one the main move after knight d5 is knight a6 knight f3 simply develop e6 b4 attacking the queen queen f8 bishop takes a6 he takes d5 he takes d5 b takes a6 castle d6 rook e1 king d7 c4 again bishop takes a1 
gives Black a weak dark square. As I said, the bishop in the piancetto in the opening that is mostly equivalent to the rook, just like in Sicilian dragon. Bishop b7, c5, again, is it okay to sacrifice in attack for king? Bishop takes d5, bishop f4, knight f6, developing at the same time protecting the bishop at d5, bishop takes d6, queen d8, queen a4 check, king c8, rook e7, and rook occupy the 7th rank, just like in the chess principle. If the rook is in the 7th rank, it has devastating effect. Knight d7, rook d1, bishop takes f3, g takes f3, Knight b8, rook takes f7, white can simply move to c7, but white try to gain more material. And white is totally winning. I hope that you learned today, but don't forget to like and subscribe to my GMG Chess channel. And please share to your friends. Thank you and have a nice day.